This cat came in as it was coughing and had been vomiting for five days. The cat was also not eating, lethargic and restless. It had a temperature of 39.9 degrees Celsius, suggesting fever. The regular temperature of a cat is 38.0 degrees Celsius to 39.5 degrees Celsius. Inspection of the gums showed dehydration, while throat palpations showed throat pain. The cat was also breathing quickly. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Void decks are the ground floors of a block of flats, which are left vacant and typically used for communal activities. This cat lives in a void deck in Singapore, where stray cats are often fed but not vaccinated, and hence are exposed to viruses, along with infections, trauma and attacks. A family of four brought the cat in. The father scruffed the cat's neck, showing experience in handling cats. This contrasts with most Singaporeans who do not know how to handle cats this way. His two daughters were very concerned about the cat coughing. The cat's symptoms indicate FIV, hence a test was done to check for FIV infection. The FIV test kit works by detecting anti-FIV antibodies circulating in the blood as a result of the immune system fighting FIV. Two lines will be shown if the cat has FIV. The cat also tested positive for FIV, which may have weakened the cat's immune system, preventing it from fighting diseases. Cats can contract feline immunodeficiency virus or FIV, a virus causing the weakening of the immune system in cats. The lifespan of a cat following FIV diagnosis is 5 to 10 years. Research done by the University of Munich shows that approximately 18% die within 5 years of infection. Due to its weakened immune system, the cat contracted upper respiratory tract infection, causing coughing and throat pain. Blood tests show that the cat had low platelet count, which may cause death if the cat bleeds. Treatment for the cat involves IV drips with antibiotics and painkillers. Unfortunately, no drugs exist to cure FIV. Antiviral drugs like AZT can help some cats with FIV, but only provide supportive care. A week after the cat went home, the cat was in much better health. It stopped coughing and was eating wet kidney food and continuing antibiotics. Its appetite was back to normal and it was active. However, it did not want to stay in the house. The cat may have contracted FIV through bites from other cats during fights in an attempt to defend its territory. Advice to the people who brought the stray cat in was to let the cat recuperate at their home to prevent exposure to bacteria and viruses that the cat cannot fight. Stray cats should also be vaccinated in order to prevent the spread of such diseases. An FIV vaccine exists but the cat will test positive for FIV for the rest of its life. Pros and cons of taking the FIV vaccine have to be weighed carefully before proceeding with the vaccination. Another common vaccine for cats is the feline leukemia virus vaccine, recommended for both stray cats and house cats. For more information, please call 6254-3326 or 9668-6468. You may also email judy at topayovets.com, 99pups at gmail.com, or visit the topayovets.com website. For more Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos, please visit topayovets.com slash videos.htm.